guys hopefully you guys enjoy traveling with me today um, and that you guys learn a thing or two as you can see these few tips work for me so I can guarantee that if you follow them you'll have a smooth trip as well not only that but you'll be worry free and also you'll be able to enjoy your trip all the way through Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo and this weekend I'm doing some business travel so I was not going to be able to record a video for you guys but then I thought to myself what the heck, might as well just make a video about this and hopefully it's useful for you guys. My plan is to bring you along with me as I prepare for this trip and throughout the video I want to share with you some tips and tricks that can make your trip more enjoyable slash less painful so if you're interested, let's do this thing. The very first thing I do whenever I know that I will be doing some business travel is to figure out how many days I will be staying at the location that I'm assigned. This coming week I am assigned to go to Atlanta, Georgia or Atlanta, how the locals call it, for four days. This gives me more or less an idea of how much do I need to pack. Quick parentheses, I am one of those people that doesn't like to pack just to pack. I like to pack exactly what I know I will be using so that I'm not just carrying stuff around with me throughout the trip. I then go ahead and start a Word doc on Google Drive and start listing all the different things that I need to take and assign them to a specific bag. For these kinds of trips, I only take a big bag which I can check in and then I take my backpack where I can put all of my technology most important stuff. This way I know where all of my things are and I make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. I do this because I've been in that boat where I forget something and it's definitely not a fun experience. This one time I forgot my eye drops. My eyes are not in the best shape possible so they get red easily. As soon as I got to the hotel, I checked my bag and there was nothing. Never again. Ugh. So four days, hmm. How much do I need to pack? I first like to think about the clothes that I will be using while traveling. It has to be something uh, comfortable as well as warm as I will be spending a lot of hours of my day on my way there and also because planes tend to get cold. This time I decided to simply take my shirt, a pair of jeans, my jacket and my shoes. Now it's time to think about the clothes that I will be wearing throughout the week. Okay, we already covered the things that you need to be packing. Now let's move on to the things that are important. Some of the things include the materials that you need in order to do your work and also any other valuables that you might need to take with you on this trip. The third tip is kind of related to the second one. This one is packing any entertainment for the trip. For me this usually includes my iPad where I can watch movies, listen to music and also my computer where I can go ahead and edit videos and have a productive flight. So for technology related stuff I take my phone, I take my work laptop, I take my personal laptop, I also take my vlogging camera and my headphones so that I can play music in the plane. Oh, and don't forget the charger for all of these different things. Another very important thing that you must not forget is important documents like your IDs, your credit cards or anything like that. Alright you guys, now we have all the things that we need in order to look presentable throughout the week. We also have the things that are important, the things that we need in order to take to the training or to do our job. And also we have the things that will make our trip more fun and more entertaining. Alright you guys, now it's time to pack all of this.
and that is done as you can see being organized at the beginning can save you a lot of time when you're actually packing you're not like thinking what am i missing because you already know you also have that word document that i told you before that you can reference back to make sure that you're not missing anything but as you can see we're done and this is all i'm taking tomorrow this is gonna be my carry-on right here my backpack and then i have this one that i can check in and i don't have to worry about it until i'm over there in atlanta and over here we have my clothes for tomorrow. This is what I'll be taking tomorrow. My shoes, my pants, my shirt, my, my sweater. It's not that much. And it was packed like that. Just to recap real quick, we already have the things that we need in order to look presentable throughout the training. We also have the important things that we need in order to do our work. And we also have all the things that we need in order to be entertained throughout our trip. So now we can go ahead and talk about the fourth tip, which is taking care of your wellness. So when I say taking care of your wellness, this might sound a bit obvious, but I mention it because it's really easy to forget about it when you're in a stressful situation, such as traveling to another place, uh, you're taking care of that you have all the things that you need and other things. So this, it might not be your focus to think about yourself and your wellness. Uh, so I mention it because I think it's something really important that you must not forget. So when I'm done packing the essentials, I make sure to pack things that can improve my trip. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, in-flight food is not the best. It can be very unhealthy for you and also just not good overall. So I usually take my own snacks. I go to the store and I buy a few things such as dry fruit, some nuts, or whatever it is that I can find. I also make sure to take any other snacks that I might already have here at the house, such as dark chocolate or fruits. So I'm going to the kitchen right now, looking for snacks. I do have a lot since I travel sometimes, and I also really like snacks. So as you can see, here I have uh, some gum. I can take this. I also have dark chocolate. Um, I have raisins, so it's dry fruit. And I have other dry nuts. And I have other dry nuts. And I have other dry nuts. which I can take two. Um, I'm also gonna take this apple right here. Let's go to the room. The next thing I do is go to the kitchen again and get Ziploc bags so that I can package all of these goodies right here. So after buying a few things and getting the stuff that I already have, we were able to combine it and make our own snacks. It's that easy. So there you go guys, making your own snacks is super easy so you shouldn't have any excuses. I do this every time that I travel so that I make sure that I'm eating good things and not just eating trash that the airline is giving me. So we already have snacks that can make our trip a little healthier, but we're missing something. A water bottle, which right now I just took out of the freezer, I forgot. I tend to be a forgetful person, but that's why I do these things, to try not to forget things like I did with with this thing right here. Taking a water bottle with you can also be very convenient as there's many places where you can fill it up. For example, in the airport, you can fill it up in one of those stations like really close to the bathroom. Uh, in the plane, there they can fill it up for you at, at any time and you don't have to be waiting for those complimentary drinks or whatever, or drinking from like tiny cups. You have your water bottle. So there you have it guys, we are done packing. We can go ahead and enjoy the rest of our days. And that's what I'm about to do. I was invited to hang out with some cool people. So I'm gonna go right now. If it wasn't because I finished packing and I kept everything organized, I'd be stressing out. I'd be thinking like, no, I can't go because I need to pack or I need to make sure that I have everything. Um, so it definitely saves a lot of time and it can give you time that you need to chill out, relax before your big trip tomorrow. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go hang out with friends like I said, but I'll make sure to be back with a few more tips. See you guys soon. Two hours later. I'm back from uh, hanging out with my friends. I had a really fun time, but I had to leave early just because I wanted to make sure that I had everything that I need for tomorrow. 
and uh, I double check right now and I do have everything so I feel good uh, I'm not stressed out so I can go ahead and sleep early if I really want to so that's the plan right now uh, I just need to go to sleep so I'll do that but I'll see you tomorrow good morning to you guys I just woke up I'm honestly not feeling that great um, I don't know if it's because I ate super late or just because I'm not used to getting up this early but I feel tired I probably can't see that uh, but hopefully after this shower and a coffee I feel a little better I'll see you in a bit Wow you guys I just showered and I feel amazing I feel like a thousand times better I'm starting to feel more of myself, if that makes any sense. But yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then go get some coffee. I was so excited to drink coffee, but someone broke the, the French press. At least I got this going. I guess I'll just buy coffee on my way to the airport, or at the airport, if there's anything there. Uh, I have to be a little quiet because um, it's super early so there's people still sleeping in this house but I just wanted to show you that I made eggs and they look good it's a happy face a little deformed but every parent must love their child and of course you need that sauce I found some instant coffee yay just heating up the water One last tip that I can give you uh, regarding to wellness is to make sure that you eat something before you travel just because it might be the last meal or the last good meal that you have before you get to your destination. I didn't think I was going to be able to drink coffee before leaving but thankfully I found some blessed. I feel really good right now. Um, I'm on time which is one of my last uh, pieces of advice for you guys. Um, timeliness. That's the reason I woke up early to prepare to make sure I'm not missing anything and so that I can get to the airport on time. So that's something that is very important. So all I have to do right now is go ahead and call my Uber and take my stuff outside. That's another tip that I can give you whenever you need to be somewhere on time. Take Uber or have a friend drive you there. But uh, don't ever take the public transportation because you, you don't know what might happen. Any delays can get you there super late. My Uber is here. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm finally here at the airport. I um, already checked my bag so I feel lighter and I also went through security which is never fun but I'm glad I came here early so that I could avoid all the like wave of people that usually come and make it hey, 10 hey, times harder. Hey, so that's the last tip that I'm gonna give you guys to get uh, early to the airport just because here you can do anything that you could do at home such as uh, watch a movie or watch YouTube or whatever it might be. You could do it here more relaxed instead of doing it at the house and then coming here and being all stressed out so I recommend that that's what I'm about to do right now in about two minutes we'll start going in um, there's a lot of people so it's gonna be intense look at all those chickens I can't blame them though because I'm ready to go as well. I already have my stuff here and I can't wait to go to Atlanta. Okay, you guys finally made it to my seat. It's all the way back, but it's cool because I have a window. So that should be fun. Um, we'll be leaving San Francisco in a few minutes now. I made it 
straight to the airport. Look at that, it's beautiful. And uh, I already got my bag, it's here with me. The next point of business is to get something to eat. And uh, right now I'm scanning the place to see if I can find anything, anything healthy, but I don't think I'll be able to. I looked around and I couldn't find anything that I thought could be healthy. Also, I forgot to mention that a lot of big companies do this thing where depending on the circumstance, they provide food uh, such as lunch or dinner. For my company, uh, traveling like this calls for that. So I'm about to eat something good because it's gonna be free. Ha. Now we're walking to get some food. Oh yeah. Like I said before, I always recommend taking Uber. And especially if you get to a city that you don't really know. I don't have any people that I know here in Atlanta, so this is the best option for me. You can also rent a car, but like right now I'm super tired. I have a headache. I'd rather just take an Uber and uh, spend some, a bit more money than uh, be super tired and drive through a city that I don't know. At this time, I think it's like kind of busy. So I'd rather take an Uber just to be safe. Hey there everyone, we made it to the hotel. As you can see, we are here. I'm really happy, I'm so tired. So as soon as I get to my room, I'm gonna go to sleep. I deserve it, I think. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy traveling with me today um, and that you guys learn a thing or two. As you can see, these few tips work for me, so I can guarantee that if you follow them, you'll have a smooth trip as well. Not only that, but you'll be worry-free and also you'll be able to enjoy your trip all the way through. If you liked the video, make sure to like subscribe and share with a friend that you might think might like it that really does help a lot anyways you guys remember to be kind have an open mind we'll see you next time <laughs>